Hi there, this is Allison with Let's Go Travel Tips, and today I am going to walk you through everything to do with COVID testing to cruise. Everything that you need to know about doing a COVID test or having a COVID test done in order to meet the requirement to have a, t a negative COVID test to present at embarkation that is done within two days of embarkation. And so first of all, I would like to welcome all of our Let's Go family members here. Thank you so very much for coming. It's wonderful to have you all here. And also welcome to all of you who are new. We have quite a few new people and I am really excited to have you with us. And so we hope you will stay. And so before I talk to you about testing today, I'm going to do a public service announcement. If you have not yet heard the new song that Elton John and Ed Sheeran put out together this Christmas called Merry Christmas, you are missing out. And you know what? I would not have even known about this song if one of my sons hadn't told me. And so just in case you haven't heard about it either, I am putting the link for it in um, the description box underneath this video. It is just a really fun song. It's got a video that goes with it that you can watch on YouTube, but it's just really fun. Um, it is Elton John, of course, so it's just extra fun. And um, it's just strictly for fun this holiday season. And so I just wanted to tell you about it in case you would like it. It always makes me happy and kind of peps me up a little bit. So um, there you go. So as far as testing goes, now on the Princess website, they talk a lot about the testing that you need to get done in order to have a negative COVID test done within two days of embarkation. And so first of all, they point out that you can get the tests at your Walgreen, at your CVS, those kind of um, pharmacies, and you can also get them at a lot of different independent pharmacies. So basically anywhere that does a COVID test that is processed by a lab, that is processed by them there is fine. Um, you cannot do one that is processed at home. But for what we're talking about right now, you can go to any pharmacy, any Instacare, any health center, places like that and get a negative COVID test. Well, you need to get a COVID test and we all hope it's negative. And so that will meet the requirement. You simply print out the results or have the results in the digital format on your phone at embarkation and you have to show those. And I do want to point out that um, for example, on the CVS website, it says that you can get a COVID test at no cost to you. And so please note that when you use that link, and I will put all those links underneath this video, I'm taking them straight from the Princess website, that there is a footnote next to that. And at the bottom, it reminds everyone that they have to see what their health insurance covers and to determine if you have to pay or not. And an awful lot of health insurances are not paying for COVID tests for traveling. So just a heads up, I know that ours doesn't and a lot of others don't, but go ahead and check and see, but just know that you might have to pay for those. Also, I am putting the link below to the CDC website that will help you find in every state the um, government-sponsored places that you can go to get a COVID um, test. And so that is another resource that you've got. I know that where we live for our cruise that we did in August, my husband works at a university close by to us, and so their health center had COVID tests, and so we went there and got it done, and it worked just smoothly. And so that is a really good option. If you know an Instacare or anywhere, a pharmacy anywhere that you would like to go to get your COVID test done, that is perfectly fine. Make sure that they tell you that you will be able to get your test results in time. Now you can have the rapid antigen test, and there is also a rapid PCR test just regular PCR tests will often take longer to get the results back and also be aware that at a lot of pharmacies during a time when not so many COVID tests are being done they get the results to you really quick but sometimes the wait times will extend if they are super busy so just keep that in mind I'm not deterring you from doing that but just check everything before you decide that's what you're going to do now when we first started sailing like when we first took our cruise last August those were basically the options that you had you could just find somewhere that you could get your COVID test done and when in fact when we went in August 
it was a three-day window and then it has been tightened to a two-day window that you need to have your COVID test. And so as that happened and there were more COVID tests and it was increasingly harder for everyone to be able to find a place to be tested, that is when they... Um, Princess and other cruise lines partnered with these um, suppliers to be able to order tests that meet the requirements that you can do at home, but you have to have a healthcare professional on the video call with you to watch you do it and to provide the test results to you. And so I wanted to show you, I have two test results here. We were just traveling and needed um, some COVID tests every day to see the people that we were seeing just to make sure that we didn't have COVID. So this first test here, you will notice it says on here, it says that, well, this is the one that you get if you order from Optum, okay? This is what comes, sorry for the reflection of my light there, but you will notice that right down here it says RX only. Can you see that right there? So this is the one that we do when we have, um, when we wanna go cruising or if you need to supply the results somewhere. I also used it because I had it um, when we just needed to do it on a day. But see, notice that it says, do not open until instructed to do so. So when you sit down on your video call um, with your healthcare professional, it needs to look like this. You can't have opened it or else they'll have you get out another one, okay? And so you sit down there, they instruct you to open it and they walk you through every single part of the test, okay? And they have to um, like scan, you have to hold up your driver's license, you have to um, hold up part of the test for them to get the QR code off of it and so just be aware that everything you need is in here but don't open it before you do the test and we do have a video showing my husband doing the test on the day he did it for our cruise in October. Now this other test is one that I bought at Walgreens. Noticed it's the same kind. It's the Binax now and it is the kind though that is over the counter. See the OTC right there and so this is remarkably the same as this. Just the drops that you use are in a different kind of dropper but the test is the same but this is just one that you do at home and um, those test results are not valid you can't just take this and show them that it's negative at the cruise port that doesn't work and so be really really clear about that but on the princess website and I will put the links below they have the links to Optum and when you buy them um, there you get the same ones from the radius also and so I'll put the links for those so if you just want to do them at home you can do that but if you want to go to a pharmacy that's great and you know what if you are someone who really has um, like it's not a super smooth experience for you to use technology or you're not quite sure about it I would recommend that you go ahead and go to a pharmacy or an Instacare or a health center somewhere like that to get tested just simply because um, I just worry um, I don't want you to have a hard time and you pay for the test and then it doesn't work out and you're frustrated and can't do it and then you then you're stressed out okay so that's just a thought now, the other part, the other um, way that you can get tested now is Princess has announced that until January 9th of 2022, if you are sailing from Fort Lauderdale, from San Francisco, or out of Los Angeles, you can make an appointment on the Doc Go website, and I'll put that link below also, um, so that you can have your COVID test done right there at the port right before embarkation. They open the appointments for your cruise 10 days before you sail. And so you just go on that website and make an appointment. And then you show up to the port, make your appointment for a little bit um, before your embarkation time. Then you show up and then do your test. And then um, the $100 just gets charged to your shipboard account. And so you don't have to um, worry about having anything to pay right there, but it just gets charged to your shipboard account and then you can board the ship. If you are someone who thought that you had it lined up to get your um, COVID test or something just doesn't work out and you don't have an appointment on the dot go, when you go to embarkation, like they ask for proof of your vaccination and proof of your negative COVID test, like first thing. And so just tell them that you don't have a COVID test and they will do one for you there and $150 for that will be charged to your shipboard account. And so I think that those options are 
excellent options, um, especially for people who are traveling to the United States to cruise and um, you're from another country, I think this is a really good option for you. And keep in mind that option, I know that $150 is expensive, but at the same time, if you're traveling for a cruise, um, it's not that much. And so you can go ahead and um, get your test done right there at the ship. Now, the other thing I wanna remind everyone though, and all of you who would be you know, coming to the United States to then embark on a cruise, you would have to do, of course, a negative COVID, a COVID test so that you could prove that it was negative to come to the United States. So you would have done your COVID test before you left home. But everyone else who is in the United States and you're traveling to a cruise port, unless you live next door to a cruise port, you're really going to want to do your COVID test before you leave home, if at all possible, because that will really help um, lessen the chance of you showing up at the port and having your test done and showing up positive, because then you've got to follow any quarantine regulations they've got and figure out how you're going to get home. And so just kind of keep that in mind. And um, plus I wouldn't want to be in Fort Lauderdale and find out I was sick if I could have found that out when I was at home. And so just kind of keep that in mind when you plan your testing and everything to go with it. Now, like I said, when you are at the port, they ask you first thing to show your proof of vaccination and your um, proof of a negative COVID test. And so for us, we have just printed out the test results and had them right there in our passport along with our um, vaccine card so that it goes really smoothly. So you might wanna have that in mind, but they are happy to look at them on your phone as well. And so that's no problem. Don't worry about that. So that is kind of everything that I think of when I think of um, COVID testing to be able to cruise. And remember that Princess is not the only cruise line that requires that. Um, so does Celebrity, so does Royal Caribbean, so does Carnival, all of the cruise lines are um, doing it out of the United States right now. And then also in Europe they are, they just do it. A lot of them will have testing right at the port, but nobody is getting on a cruise ship these days without a, um, proof of a negative COVID test very close to when they sail. And so just kind of accept that as a reality that's gonna be with us, I think, for um, at least a little while going forward. I have no idea how long that will last. So we'll just have to see. But um, anyway, just know that that's going to be with us. Be ready to do it. And um, I think it'll go really smoothly for you. And so if you have any questions about any of this, go ahead and put them in the comments below and I will do my best to get back to you. Um, I really appreciate you all coming and listening. I really did this video just so that it could be really clear for everybody so that it just makes it really simple. I'm just telling you what is on the Princess website, but in um, I wanted to tell you the things that I would want someone to tell me and things that I'm really glad that I know since we're going to sail. So you all take really, oh, you know what? I forgot to ask you, if you haven't subscribed yet, will you consider subscribing to our channel would love to have you in our let's go family and it really helps out our channel what it does is it just shows people it shows YouTube that people are interested in our videos and it helps us get a little bit more visibility and that would be wonderful and also if you appreciate this video will you please give it a thumbs up because that really helps as well thank you very much I'll be talking to you all again really soon you all take really good care God bless you love you bye bye